गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डील विद द ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन सो वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स केमिकल प्रोसेस ड्यू टू विच द कलर ऑफ द फ्रूट वेजिटेबल्स एज वेल एज द फूड आइटम्स टर्न्स ब्राउन्स सो this whole process is known as browning reaction now this browning reaction is being categorized into two number 1 is the enzymatic browning reaction you know and the second is the non enzymatic browning reaction this non enzymatic browning reaction is being categorized further it is being further categorized into two that is caramelization and the second is the millard reaction sorry the spelling is double l a r d millard reaction so this non enzymatic part will be dealt in the other video let's learn first what is enzymatic browning reaction so the word itself says that there is an involvement of there is an involvement of enzyme in this reaction you know enzymatic browning reaction itself says that there is an involvement of enzyme in this reaction now let us see or uh, understand this with an example so i will take an example of apple which is very common so suppose we take an apple it is a whole complete apple without any cut which carries its all its natural form but when as soon as this apple is being cut into slices what happens let us learn this and this is what the browning reaction deals about and we are reading up what we are we are learning or uh, uh, what we are learning about the enzymatic and this is with this example we will understand of this enzymatic browning reaction now this is before cut and this is after cut okay what happens now as soon as we cut this apple into slices the cells you know this is an apple and it constitutes of its cells you know so this cells gets damaged first of all let us see the cell contains the vacuole suppose i'm just this is a, a cell contains a vacuole and this and suppose this is a plastid to make you a clear i'm just giving you an example i'm just making it clear with this Uh, this is not a proper diagram just i'm just letting you understand this okay so this vacuole now why i am telling you of this plastid and vacuoles because the enzyme as well as the compound which is being involved in this whole enzymatic browning reaction is present in these two plastid now what does the plastid contains the plastid contains the enzyme okay let me remove erase this okay this plastid contains an enzyme and that is polyphenol oxidase we also tell it in short form ppo okay and this vacuole contains what it contains the phenolic compound and this phenolic compound is basically for what it is basically for the 
color it is this phenolic compound is re responsible for what it is responsible for the color uh, bitterness flavor as well as the nutritional quality in fruits and vegetables okay so what happens as soon as we cut this apple into the slices the cells of this apple gets damaged due to what first first of all what happens first of all uh uh cells of the apple gets damaged okay second thing is what second thing is this cell gets exposed to the environment this get exposed to the environment and as we all know that environment in this environment there is a gaseous molecule that is oxygen and this oxygen is very much needed for this enzymatic browning reaction what happens that as the cells get damaged and and they get exposed to the oxygen there is an oxidation process occurs in this enzymatic browning reaction due to which the apple turns to brown now what happen and the second is what second is cells get exposed to environment environment and environment contain what gases oxygen which is responsible for oxidation process in this enzymatic browning reaction now let me make you very clear this with an what with a example okay so let me take an example a chemical reaction and let me show you what happens suppose we take a phenolic compound uh that is 2,4 dihydroxy phenol so 2,4 dihydroxy phenol oh 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 so let me number it 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is 2 4 di hydroxy phenol okay this is a phenolic compound okay when this phenolic compound is being suppose the plant cell contains this phenolic compound and when this we have taken the example of an apple so suppose this we have taken the example of an apple so suppose apple contains this 2,4 uh, mm, dihydroxy phenol for an example okay just an example to understand to make you more clear so 2,4 dihydroxy phenol this is a phenolic compound and when this comes in contact with the oxygen which is present in the environment and also in the presence of an enzyme enzyme that is ppo that is polyphenol oxidase what happens that this phenolic compound it changes to what it changes to quinone orthoquinone it changes to what it changes to orthoquinone sorry this will not be so it changes to what it changes to ortho quinone okay and again this ortho quinone undergo polymerization means what uh, again it again this ortho quinone it combines with the uh, polyphenol uh, and and what what does it form it forms a melanin and this melanin is what this is a pigment which is responsible for the brown color which appears in the slices when it is being exposed to the oxygen oxygen so this is the whole process 
ओके सो आई थिंक यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड सो सिंपली व्हाट डज द एंजाइमेटिक ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन मींस इज दैट व्हेन द पॉलीफिन व्हेन सपोज सिंपल वर्ड that when the ox when suppose you have taken example of apple so when the apple is being cut into slices the cells of the apple which contains the uh, polyphenol uh, polyphenol oxidase in the plastid as well as the uh, phenolic compound in the vacuoles they interacts with each other as the cell gets damaged after being cut and they are exposed to the environment which contains an oxygen and hence this triggers the reaction that is known as the enzymatic browning reaction so this is the whole process and in this what we have seen that when the polyphen that uh, when the phenolic compound that is 2,4 dihydroxy phenol um, in the presence of o2 that that carries out oxidation Uh, and also in the presence of the ppo that is an enzyme polyphenol oxidase it changes to uh, orthoquinone and this quinone uh, further undergo polymerization and it forms a melanin which is a pigment and this is responsible for the brown color okay so but we have learned about this okay so there is also the need to inhibit this browning process because this browning process it also what does it do it just reduces the nutritional value of the food you know uh, in india most of like 50% of the food is being just wasted just because of this browning reaction in fruits and vegetables so there is a need to inhibit this browning reaction um in the perishable foods so what we have to do is that we can treat this in two process like we can inhibit this in two process in the two method sorry one is the physical method there are lots of method but i am just dealing about this physical and one is the chemical method so in physical method what can be what can we do is we can just simply heat treat means heat treatment like treating the food with heat such as uh, balancing uh, blancing sorry such as blancing or roasting it it what does it do it just simply denatures the enzyme and destroy the reactants that is responsible for the browning so so we can say that if the enzyme is being destroyed then this whole process will not take place so simply heat treatment what happens there is denaturation of of the enzyme that is ppo example that is ppo uh and the uh, and so if the enzyme is being uh, if uh, if we are destroying the enzyme it means no polyphenolic uh, so what will happen that the polyphenolic sorry the polyphenol sorry the not polyphenolic the phenolic compound it will if there is no enzyme or the enzyme gets denature then no orthoquinone will be formed and hence no pigment which causes brown color okay so poly, the phenolic compound in the presence of no if 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 the enzyme if uh, in uh, if the enzyme is denatured agar enzyme is denatured so what will happen no orthoquinone will be formed and hence no pigment that is melanin will be formed which is responsible for the brown color now the so in cold treatment what happens the rate of the reaction of the enzyme it drops 
and therefore what happens this whole process some way it becomes inactive so no no melanin pigment is formed okay and the third is the oxygen elimination we all, we have seen that for the uh, enzymatic reaction oxygen is very much needed because in the pres in because in the presence of the oxygen the enzyme it interacts with the what it interacts with the phenolic compound so if we remove the oxygen then this whole process will be will not we will not take place see so what we can do we can eliminate eliminate what eliminate o2 and therefore the um, the enzyme it will become inactive because it because this enzyme is um, becoming active in the presence of oxygen so if we eliminate this oxygen so there will be no formation of the melanin and so no brown color so this is all about the physical method to inhibit the browning reaction now let us see let me erase this okay so now we will see of the chemical reaction now the um, sorry the chemical method first one is the acidification you know how can we acidify we can as see through this method what is done we just drops the ph below 3 if we drop because the enzyme its optical activity take place at the ph at the ph ranges from 5 to 7 and if we drop this to the a ph3 that its activity is being hindered you know and if its activity is being hindered so uh, there will so uh, what happen basically that uh, it will not form orthoquinone and hence though no uh, no melanin and therefore no brown color this and uh, this so the acidulent which we can use for this and which is being used in the industry is the the very common is the ascorbic acid then the citric acid and uh, we can also use uh, that is gluta Thione and etc. Glutathione and etc. Now, for more the antioxidants, what does they do? They just simply they react with the oxygen and they suppresses the browning process and also they interferes with the intermediate products of the um, products of the following reaction and they inhibits the formation. So the antioxidant used here is. is the ascorbic acid uh, then cysteine a hydrochloride etc and many more then we can also so uh, the chelating we can use chelating agent see what happens in chelating is in the ppo that is a polyphenol oxidase enzyme it requires copper as a cofactor so what we can do we can use a copper chelating agent which simply inhibits the activity of the enzyme and hence this whole process that means the enzymatic browning process is being inhibited and therefore no pigment and therefore no brown color because there is no formation of pigment 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एंजाइमेटिक ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज नॉन एंजाइमेटिक नॉन एंजाइमेटिक ब्राउनिंग रिएक्शन विच इज फर्दर कैटेगराइज इन टू टू दैट इज कैरेमलाइजेशन एंड द सेकेंड इज मिलाड रिएक्शन so this we will learn in the next video this is all about the enzymatic browning reaction thank you